G'day guys, Paul from Get Tools Direct here and what I'm going to be doing is giving this Makita DHP481 or the new brushless Makita hammer drill, what I'm going to be doing is doing a really good demonstration of what you probably shouldn't do if you own one of these but I'm going to do it anyway just to give you an idea of how good this drill is okay. You'll see it's got a um, handle on it which you know if I stood it that way it would almost be taller than me but there's a reason for that and you'll see that in a second. So as I said, please don't do this to your drill. This is a Makita demonstration tool that they've given me to demonstrate this exact usage with the tool, right? So we've got, it's about a 24 mil auger bit uh, into a bit of hardwood sleeper, okay? So I'm gonna put it in second gear, which is fast gear, okay? Which is again, the opposite of what I'd suggest. I'll run through what I, how I would suggest you do this after we do it, okay? So second gear, I'm gonna see how many holes I can get out of it in second gear. Then if it stops, I'll then pull it out and go in first gear, but I've got no clutch involved at all in this tool, okay? So it's just the auger bit straight through to the gearbox, right? So let's give it a go. DHP481, second gear into hardwood with a big auger on the end of it. Let's give it a go. Second off. Third off. Oh, okay, so there it is. That means that the tool has overheated because I'm not doing something I should be doing with it. Okay, all I'm going to do is back it out. Right, flick it into first gear. Flick. Continue going. Okay, so it's fairly clear there that in first gear, it's not going to top out. I could keep going, but you've pretty much got the idea that the machine, obviously in second gear, which is what you shouldn't do, a high speed, is going to overheat and it's going to cut out so you can't break it, right? Then I've just flicked it straight into first gear or the gear that I should be using and it's ploughed through, you know, however many holes I did then into hardwood, not a problem, hasn't overheated, so to me, that's incredibly impressive. I haven't really seen another Makita drill that you could do that with or even try. But as I said, my personal spin on it is just click the ch clutch involved, okay? So that you're basically safeguarding your drill. That's all I've done there is just flick it from drill mode to screw mode, which if we lessen off the clutch, it's just going to clutch out. So what I'm going to do is put the clutch in number 21 which is maximum and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. See that? So if you jam your bit up it'll clutch out on you. Okay so obviously you can see that's maximum clutch. That gives you a pretty good idea of what the drill is capable of but obviously in that scenario it's not going to bore through that so we had to click it back into drill mode. So it's pretty much going to bore holes in first gear all day, every day. Hence the torque that's being delivered by the drill, why you need this massive handle on it. So for all of you out there who want a really powerful, obviously brushless hammer drill that handles, for instance, 24 mil augers into hardwood, check out the DHP481. And obviously, as I've seen there, uh, it's incredibly impressive when it comes to high torque applications. So check it out on gettoolsdirect.com.au and obviously feel free to uh, share, like or comment on this or any of our videos and for any other videos jump on gtdtv.com. No worries, well uh, yeah, this has been Paul through some hardwood, not a drama.